Hello world. <coughs> Mr. Resistor here. Continuing our alpha journey. Uh, so we've got a booster that's about to expire, so we will take that. We'll take our skill points. And I think that'll be it for now. So where we got with skills. We are currently still training light drone operation. Okay, so uh, we need some skill points. We've got our brand new probe. I think uh, what I want to do is not take this mission, because that's going to be against Amar. And I'm not ready to lose faction standing yet. Alright. Ordu's Legion. We can accept that. Um, so... Right, so this is a transport ship. Um, I don't remember exactly what the guards are. I think maybe I'll take the Thrasher for this one. And, uh... <coughs> so chance I may to wrap this one up a little bit earlier than I usually do. Warp drive active. Uh, just because of all the smoke that's in the air. Um, been pretty lucky this year. I've had a couple of days where it got really smoky, but when I woke up this morning, we were just totally socked in. Um. So, um, yeah, it's been a tough day, I guess. Warp drive on active. the right side, the smoke attenuates the sunlight, and since uh, since it came in, um, <laughs> late at night, we uh. <clears throat> things had managed to cool down, so it definitely kept it from getting as hot uh, as it would have been otherwise. Because we are very much still in a heat wave. So anyway, <coughs> smoke made the heat a little bit more manageable, but kind of doing a number on my throat and uh, making me spe sneeze a bit. So if that cuts too bad, I might need to cut this off. So 
this is uh seems like a different mission than I thought it was. I don't remember jump gates. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Feels like it's been a long time since I just ran missions. So yeah, anyway, I don't know if the smoke has actually lifted any. I've uh, opened the windows to try and get a little bit of cool air in here. Um, and I uh, got a couple of air filters that just happened to fit my window uh, basically perfectly. fan to pull air in through it, so getting some, but it's definitely not uh, cooling off as well as it normally would at this time of night. Which is also later uh, than I normally record, just because I was getting some work done. Oh, we've got Pyrex Aries in here. So... I might want to... <coughs> mine that. <coughs> and put off jump to null space. Warp drive active. I don't want to put that off too long, but you know it always pays to be flexible. And uh If we can get T2 drones before we go, that could be a big advantage. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Okay. If I remember correctly, there's maybe some Ober in there? We'll see, we might end up actually doing a fair bit of mining before we turn this in. That might end up being our main activity today. There we 
go. There it is. Over. Accessories. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Gonna have to come back and mine that. <clears throat> Especially being so close. Should be able to make multiple trips. Back up to fifty. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Well, all right. So if we're going to be doing exploration, all of these gunnery skills are going to be less important because we are going to be depending on drones. Drone operation. Get the Minotaur drone specialization in there. I mean, we're looking at 10 days basically, so we're almost certainly not gonna get there before we go. But we can 
pick up some other skills. Get them going. These will make a huge difference in your effectiveness. It's really <coughs> pretty amazing um, how effective even light drones can be once you're uh, once you're fully skilled up. I think that's good for now. I have to say, I'm fairly impressed with whatever noise cancellation uh, this headset has. Because I've got a fan mm, roughly a meter away. It's fairly loud, at least to me. Uh, but according to OBS's level meters, you're not hearing it. I guess let me know if that's not true. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, it seems to be getting altered out pretty well. if that's the headset or if it's warp drive the, uh, active I know Windows has some noise cancellation built in I think or maybe it's real tech drivers 
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Can't catch coughing though. Still have to manually mute for that. So we've got tank. Eh. find survey scanners useful. Um, <coughs> so, instead... Yes, Don't think we have the requirements for T2. No, we don't. All right. Well, this will work. Drive active. Drive active. 
So, first thing, I'm gonna go in here. Warp drive active. I'm gonna grab that over. Because it's worth some money. Then we'll grab whatever Pyrex Ares we can. Um, <clears throat> we probably won't be able to get enough in one run to um, satisfy our uh, our activity, but that's all right. We can make two runs. So we're at one thirty three, pick up from what is it normally about one twenty six like that. Actually we can find that out. Um so when you're out in the real world and have your stuff going, if you check um it'll tell you what all your stuff is. Alright, so that reduces cycle time by a tiny bit. And ship mining laser upgrade skill. The asteroid skill, is depleted. Ship. Okay. Well, that was quick, but I guess we expected that. Ugh, only 10. Well, that's alright. So they're worth 400 each. So, we need 16,000 of these. We're getting 884 per cycle, so... Twenty cycles, roughly. Or about 20 minutes. Probably a little bit more <coughs> to account for time we spend, you know, switching out, uh, switching asteroids, flying, etc. And of course, uh, completing cycles um, when we don't have a full cycle's worth of ore. 
but I'm not super worried about that. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not crazy about efficiency and the mining. Typically, <clears throat> typically I get my efficiency through quantity, which has a quality all its own. <clears throat> By which I mean I run a fleet with an orca and uh, three other characters in mining barges. Although, I hope to get them into exhumers soon. That should <clears throat> that should improve my yield quite a bit. I'm actually a little bit surprised at how profitable it's been just following the their career path. I mean, granted, they give you money for completing stuff, so that helps a lot. But even just the activities, um, I think I made more money doing exploration than I ever have in the past. Skill training completed. And granted, there was an event, you know, so... Um, but I've typically found it really hard to find uh, event data sites when those kind of events are going on. Um, that definitely seemed to be much easier this time around. Um, so that was a nice change, felt like. Um, and maybe it's just the region around Heck. Um, is tough for exploration in general. Like, I don't know if it's tapped out or, you know, it's just too many, too many people active there. Although, <laughs> you would expect Kaldari space to be even more tapped out if that was the case, because Jita's literally the busiest system in the game. Um, but even within a couple of jumps of Jita, it seemed like it wasn't too hard to find stuff, so. I don't know if CCP just, like, decided to make that stuff a little more doable, or, or what. <laughs> Sure, be nice if they did. And if so, you know, hopefully that's a trend that continues with future events. Because it does get real frustrating when you're out flying around for an hour and you just can't find any of the data sites. So kind of feel like you're wasting your day. I mean, I've gone out for an hour in a cheetah with full scanning skills. Um, and maybe a booster and not found any data sites. So, speaking of frustrating, <clears throat> so yeah, because of that in general, I found, uh, like I really wanted to get into exploration and I spent, I spent a lot of time and money training up the skills and you know, getting into the ship and all that, and uh, just 
has not paid off. It's really um, a very discouraging experience, you know, as you might imagine. I still go out and try it once in a while, but that character is my main co combat character, so uh, he spends a lot more time in his battleship than he does in his exploration ships. Just because, you know, at least that way I feel like I'm accomplishing something. It would be cool, I think, if there were exploration missions, you know, like, just, hey, go here, scan down this thing, find out what it is, you know, go here, steal something from this box. You know stuff like that. that that would be cool I, I there are there are a few missions right there's there's some missions where you have to go get data from a scan probe and that requires a, a hacking module and then the uh, sisters of Eve mission uh, I think there's one where you need a relic module I think But, like, why not have actual, like, exploration agents, you know? Like, I hope that's something that they add <coughs> with the, um, with the new content, you know? Like, faction warfare, uh, stuff where you're scouting, um, you know, enemy, uh, enemy activity, you know, spying and stuff. I think, I think that, that could be really cool. Um, and I think would, would help make, make exploration more attractive and, and more versatile, I think also, you know, cause I, I think, um, you know, those same skills, people think of it, or, well, okay, I do, being in a solo corp that doesn't do warfare, um, just think of exploration skills as, okay, I'm going to go out and, you know, scan down wormholes and dead and relic sites, gas sites, etc. But, you know... Why not? Um, why not give people a PVE experience that's similar or, you know, related to um, scouting for warfare, you know, intelligence gathering and stuff. I think, um, I think that, um, you know, I think that it's good game design in general to have PvE activities that teach your players how to do the stuff that they need for PvP. You know, and um, and I think it wouldn't be difficult to build missions around exploration skills um, and uh, really help people, you know, develop develop those skills and really get get good at them beyond what's just what's in the uh, beginning career agents. I think that would be a good idea. Eve. And the new faction warfare stuff seems like a 
perfect opportunity um, to do that since it would mesh really nicely with some of the stuff they're doing. So yeah, anyway, that's my two cents. Um, Yeah, project discovery. We could be doing that. Speaking of earning a little more risk. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and all that cool stuff.
more than all of it. salvage, so no point in doing that. And we've got our powering series. Warp drive active. <coughs> Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Skill training completed. Right, so let's go ahead and turn that in since we have done the thing that we came to do. Process it and collect that reward. So, still need scordite and plagioclase, but we can get those from any belt. Let's go ahead and sell some of this. I think. <clears throat> I don't know that I've ever flown one actually.
So I can put two more things up for sale. What are we gonna go with? Let's go with some hybrid guns. There are some uh, industrialist activities where you build ships, so maybe at some point I'll go ahead and do that. Um, <coughs> I might, uh, might buy a rupture blueprint from one of my other characters uh, to do the cruiser. All right, well, with that, I think we will call it a day. So until next time, have a good one.